Hi, let me show you how I adapted a laptop arm for my recliner chair. Okay, yes, I have a selfie stick, but it serves a purpose, not just taking selfies. Anyway, this here is my comfy chair. I don't use it very much because I want to use it with my computer and I find it really difficult to get in and out of it with the computer. For my old computer, I made this uh, wooden little tray and that computer fitted perfectly into it, obviously because I made it for that computer. But now I've got a smaller computer and this one is kind of wanting to fall in between. Um, that's not very good. So, firewood. Uh, but I don't have a fire, so sentimental ornament? Anyway. so. I want to use it more, Patch, our cat, should use it less. So I thought I'd get a laptop tray, but it doesn't stick to the chair. So I have to make something. Right there. So I've marked some stuff there with some tape. And basically, the, uh, the rod thing bar needs to go there some way, somehow. So I'm gonna try to to fix that, so I can sit there with my computer without having to do some acrobatics every time I need to get in and out of the chair. I don't think Patch is gonna like it because. It's her chair, she thinks. Anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna... So I'm gonna cut down this uh, piece of plywood here to uh, 300 by 350 millimeters. That should be a good plate to mount the uprighty thing get these sticky on. So um, yeah, I better put this back on because I have no dust extraction or anything in this garage, so unless I put this, I'll be the dust extractor. Right, cut it is already sorted. Piece of plywood, some countersunk holes for the plate to be screwed onto the chair. I've measured where the arm should go, 
and it should basically go something like that and it needs to be raised up about 30 millimeters so now I need to figure out how to attach that to there um, I was thinking of using magic but I ran out so I'll have to do something with either metal or wood That's what I built, a plate and some risers, extenders for the arm. That means that now the arm sits there. So I can now use the laptop in the chair. And the good thing is that I can move the laptop out of the way and swing it back, you know. And I need the facilities or another drink or feed the cat anyway problem problem number one this isn't vertical so I assumed it would be vertical but no it is a uh, quite wonky excellent quality IKEA thank you for 60 quid I guess it's all right so that means that this arm is now leaning down it's not too much of a problem but uh, it bugs me a bit so I might fix it by adjusting this putting an angle in there or I might actually just uh, make a shim that moves this one out a little bit at the top however the the next improvement is that the arm is now not centered which means sort of that uh, uh, I would be using the computer at a very offset angle and that's not good either. So I knew that before I started making this one. I knew it the moment I unpacked this contraption. So I'm gonna extend the arm here and potentially here. I'm also gonna get rid of this um, steel plate where the laptop is on and make one out of uh, probably plywood that suits the laptop better. That, I think, would set it to its functional goal. Then, a little bit of paint. Give it a little bit of pizzazz, like black. So, it's been a few days since I've finished the initial plate thingy, and I've had some time to think about it and it all looks quite good. I've decided that I need to fix the angle of the plate. So what I did was that I put a piece of scrap plywood on the floor and I got my bevel box. So I set it to zero down at the floor and then now it's on the arm. And on the arm it is now saying about 87.6 degrees. So that's much, that's how much it's out. And that's what I need to correct. And I'll correct it probably by putting a shim between the top of this plate and the bottom of it. In addition to that, I have bought these wooden nut threaded inserts things um, they basically have a M6 thread in there and you just magically put them in the wood and then you have metal in the wood. 
I've already added two inserts of these. In, I've added these uh, six ones to hold the actual upright, but I thought I'd add two more in case I want to uh, create some more accessories for this. Uh, whilst I'm at it, I've got all the drills out, so uh, the way I did it was that I used a small drill to do the pilot hole, then I drilled a six point something mil hole for uh, all the way through, but I drilled it from both sides so I wouldn't get uh, too much terror. Uh, and it's six point something because these are M6 inserts, so the six millimeter bolt needs to go through all the way. Then I used my uh, stubby step drill to drill a little bit further in because these inserts are tapered. They go from about 6.5 millimeters to 8 millimeters, at the, so 6.5 at the bottom to 8 there. So drilling it into a little bit over 8 would hope, will give it a little bit more purchase in the beginning. And then I just countersunk them with the countersunk bit a little bit. So uh, now let's uh, just uh, put one in. Right, so there we go, as I'm in. Just a word of warning, I did a bit of a, a, a test piece here. And uh, if you try to push them too far, they will crack, as you can see like right there. From the other side, it looks like this. So, a quick Put plaster down, and then some uh, wood massage paper. We'll get it done like that. So yeah, there they are. And that means that we can now use M6 bolts in wood. Nice. I need a longer stupid stick so I can get more into the frame. But anyway, I've fixed the the, the vertical arm. It is now I'm back within one degree out. So that's that's good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this arm and this arm so that the laptop is central. Does that make sense? <laughs> Stupid stick. Right, so um, you can probably hopefully see that the laptop is not central to the chair, which... Uh...
Looks like it's another moment with the stick. Arm extended and do you know what? That made such a big difference. You know, I could live with it like this, but the, uh, the inner perfectionist wants to push this a little bit further. So, uh, as you can see, it's just longer. And because I made it extra long, uh, it can now go into a lot of positions. No, quiet in the back. I never thought I'd say this, but it looks like I need a longer stick. Uh, anyway, so um, here comes the laptop. Right, so with the backrest up, I can create a comfortable uh, nerding position. And now here comes the laptop. Right, so with a bit of fiddling, I can now position the laptop in a pretty good, pretty good position. Right, and if I stick you over to this side, uh, you know, with the stick, um, that's what it looks like there. So stick, sticky stick, stick. Um, let's it there. Uh, so yeah, that's how it is now, and this is actually pretty good. Obviously, the uh, thing in the laptop is uh, resting upon needs to be uh, fixed because you can't have stuff like that. Burnout. <laughs> right. I've cut this piece of plywood. That'll be the the base for the laptop. Uh, I'm gonna route chamfer the edges now. Uh, front and the back are 20 degrees angle to give it that uh, four eyes look. So uh, yeah, router schnauter. The main plate. Now I need to make a, 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 a an indentation here for the laptop.
Right, so here's the plate. There's a bit of a notch there so you can get the, the lid of the laptop up. There's a, a notch there and there for the, uh, the ports. And there's a little bit of an extra recess here because this is where the, the screen hinges. At the moment I'm gluing this strengthening plate onto here and the reason for that is simply because that there's basically only two layers of plywood left. So I'm not gonna go try fit it. I'm knackered. I've just spent five hours non-stop making the tray. I'm pretty pleased with it. It all seems very good. I will now start the testing and see if it actually works. But uh, yeah, they uh, came out quite well. And as you can see, the laptop is pretty much flush. Oh, I'll do some real world testing and then um, if everything's okay, I'll apply some finish to it. Um, the plywood isn't as nice as I had hoped, so I'll probably end up painting it. And uh, yeah, obviously the, the arms need painting because primer grey isn't really in vogue at the moment. Battleship grey seems to be, but not primer grey. So after months and months and months of very hard testing, we need to make some adjustments. The first, the most important one is that the, the tray is too high. And that is partially because this piece of plywood is quite thick. But I kind of like that. To counteract that, I'm going to lower this arm. I'm going to basically make it step down. Another thing I might do is to cut off a little bit on here. I thought I needed this much for resting my wrists on it, but uh, I don't think I need that much.
then it was time for painting. I used a spray filler to smooth out the plywood, but I should have done a better job and applied it more than once. Once I got the paint on, it was pretty okay, but the quality of the plywood in itself was no good. There is a lot of defects in the paint surface and some of them are due to my rushed work and some of them are due to just horrible plywood. I also decided to move the holes about 10 millimeters as the surface was already broken. Then to top things off I put the plate in the oven in an attempt to speed up the drying of the paint and that caused tons of micro bubbles. The repair patch in the actual side plate made some horrible marks in the paint. I think I'm going to call it done for now. There's a few things that I'm not happy with but overall it's a success. Uh, I've obviously painted it now and I must admit I did a rubbish job and it bugs me a lot but that's what I did and that's what I'm going to have to live with. The laptop tray itself will need uh, another going over with the paint and all that um, it was just too it's not good enough that's uh, very simple it's not good enough on top of that I was uh, being uh, impatient and I wanted to dry it off in the oven and that caused tiny 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 bubbles so uh, not only was it bad but I made it worse so I'm just gonna have to live with that for a little while and see what happens. Uh, overall, very pleased. I hope I get a lot of use for, out of it and I hope that it will make my videos a little bit uh, quicker and easier for me to make. So, thanks for watching.